You're moving where? What's even in Wyoming? Well, lots of things, including a lot of different cities. If you're looking to move to Wyoming, but you don't know exactly where to go, you've come to the right place. Hi, I'm Alicia Collins with the Alicia Collins Real Estate Team. If you have watched any of my other videos, you may have noticed I'm a bit partial to Casper, but I'll admit Casper isn't the only city in Wyoming to consider. So for comparison's sake, let's compare Casper versus Sheridan. Let's start with some statistics. How about population? Sheridan has a smaller population, just under 19,000 inhabitants, compared to Casper's 58,000. With the size of population, it might surprise you to discover that Sheridan is Wyoming's sixth largest city, while Casper is the second largest. So, if you're looking for a location with slightly larger population, Casper wins. But, which one is larger by area? Casper, of course. But even with a population three times the size, the city is not three times larger than Sheridan. Sheridan is 12.71 square miles, which is almost half the size of Casper. Casper is 27.24 square miles. Location, location, location. Sheridan is located very close to the Montana border, which allows easy access to all that a larger, more populated state has to offer, and is a short drive to Billings. Sheridan is just 30 miles away from the Bighorn Mountains, which are located in the north central part of Wyoming. Sheridan is also halfway between two national treasures, Yellowstone and Mount Rushmore. Casper, on the other hand, sits a little closer to the center of the state. Not exactly center, but close enough to be able to get just about anywhere in the state within a few hours. For example, it's just over two hours to drive to Sheridan, Laramie, or Cheyenne from Casper. Casper sits at the base of the beautiful Casper Mountain, with the North Platte River running right through town. Both locations have some excellent features. It just depends on which one speaks more to you. What about median household income? Well, depending upon the source you check, Casper's median household income is right around 60,000 a year. Sheridan's median income is slightly lower at somewhere between 52 and 58,000. Again, depending on the source. So I guess Casper wins on that one at face value. But what about the average home price? The median home price in Casper is just around 286,000 with an average price per square foot of 145. Sheridan's median price is 430,000 with an average square foot cost of 229. Okay, with the median income higher and the cost of home lower, I would say that it is a resounding win in the Casper column. According to bestplaces.net, the cost of living in Casper is lower than the cost of living in Sheridan by 1.9%. With the housing cost difference, you would think that the overall cost of living would be quite a lot lower. But bestplaces.net include things like cost of health care and groceries into their calculation. So some other factors may cost a little more in Casper than in Sheridan, bringing the overall cost of living difference down to just 2%. Since both cities are in Wyoming, they both have a great state income tax rate. None. So I guess tax-wise, we could compare sales tax. Both are relatively low. Sheridan is currently sitting at 6% compared to Casper's 5%. 1% difference doesn't seem that large, but it can add up on those larger purchases. Although being so close to Montana, which does have state income tax, but doesn't have sales tax, might mean some quick shopping trips to the north. Climate and weather are relatively similar in both Sheridan and Casper. But due to the differences in terrain, there are a few things that are not the same. When it comes to rainfall, both cities are very similar. Sheridan averaging 12.9 inches per year compared to Casper's 13 inches. Casper does get more snow though, averaging 70.3 inches per year compared to Sheridan's 34.7. Great if you like to ski and snowboard. Another thing that Sheridan has less of than Casper is wind. If you wanna know about the wind situation in Wyoming, check out my video on Wyoming wind to learn more. If you were to ask the residents which city is windier, like I said in the last video, it would probably cause an argument because everybody thinks their city is the windiest. The truth is, depending on the day, any city could really win when it comes to wind gusts. Sheridan does win this comparison with an annual average of about 8.9 miles per hour compared to a 12 miles per hour average for Casper. Weatherspark.com has a neat comparison tool where you can see how the different weather stats stack up on the same chart. It looks like Sheridan and Casper have very similar temperatures throughout the year. Casper's average temperature ranges throughout the year is from 17 to 88. 
and Sheridan ranges from 16 to 80 inch. What about the political climate? I am sure it comes to no surprise, Wyoming tends to have a reputation of being conservative, and both Casper and Sheridan followed that trend closely. Middle of the year voter registration shows that Sheridan is a little more conservative than Casper. Casper, or rather Naturna County, has around 72.5% of total voters registered as Republicans compared to Sheridan County, where Sheridan is located with 75%. In both counties, there are a number of unregistered voters and a very small number of voters registered for alternative parties. The percentage of voters registered as Democrats in Sheridan County is 8.4%, which is lower than Natrona County's 13%. These percentages tend to shift a bit in election years and around elections, but definitely stay on the conservative side of things. How does Sheridan compare to Casper for access to the great outdoors? This one is a bit more difficult, and I'm biased since I live in Casper. Casper is right at the base of Casper Mountain. Hiking, skiing, and other snow sports, mountain biking, and camping are all within about 15 minutes of town. Plus, with the river running right through the city, kayaking, fishing, and floating the river are all minutes from home. Sheridan offers many of the same amenities, just a little further away. I mean, the Bighorn Mountains are pretty tough to beat. Even at 30 miles away, they are still pretty darn close to town. There are many opportunities for hiking, biking, and camping. The Bighorns offer snowmobiling and Nordic skiing, but the only alpine skiing areas are Antelope View, 59 miles away, and Metal Art Ski Area, 78 miles away. Still an option, but definitely further away than Pogodon Basin Ski Area in Casper, which is just 12 miles from the center of Casper. Casper has three reservoirs within an hour of the city. Sheridan has Lake Smet, only 30 miles away, and Bighorn Lake, about one and a half hours away. Again, both cities have a lot of great outdoor adventures available. Sheridan has a bigger mountain range and all that comes with that. And Casper has easier access as most things are closer to the city. Both cities are great locations if you're looking for outdoor fun. How about the vibe of each city? Well, that one is a little bit harder for me to remain unbiased. I do live, work, and play in Casper. My impression of Sheridan is that it is friendly like most of Wyoming and even has a small town vibe maybe even more so than Casper. That isn't necessarily a bad thing. Small town feel is what Wyoming is known for. In comparison to Sheridan, I would say that Casper feels a little more like a big city. Well, a Wyoming version of a big city anyway. So there you have it, Casper versus Sheridan. I will leave it up to you to decide which is the right city for you. Of course, if it's Casper, give me a call. I am sure my team and I can help you find the perfect home. We have time for you and we absolutely love hearing from all of you with the calls and the messages. I'd love to hear what you think about the difference between Casper and Sheridan down below in the comments. Remember, we want you to level you best.